In this animation, the car is driving at a constant speed over a hill. The acceleration of the car is due to its weight, the contact force of the track, and friction force of the car's tires and the track. The car will maintain speed as long as the coefficient of friction is large enough to keep it from slipping and the force on the wheels is greater than the component of gravity coasting down the hill. For a constant velocity going uphill, the frictional force must be pointing upwards towards the hill in the same direction as the car is moving. In this case, the frictional force must be equal to but oppose the gravitational force. In uphill acceleration, there is a greater static frictional force since the car is essentially pulling itself upwards by ma maintaining contact through the tires gripping the road. As the car moves down the hill at a constant velocity, the component of the gravitational force is parallel to the car's velocity. This must be equal to and oppose the upwards frictional force. Downhill, the frictional force opposes the motion of the car. Downhill, kinetic friction is present as the car coasts down the hill and is equal to the component of friction and the normal force. If the car moves faster than the maximum speed, the normal force will go to zero and the car will feel weightless. The weight alone will not be enough to keep the car moving in a circle, so it will veer off the road at the top of the hill.